Welcome back everybody with your 5 p.m. Eastern update on potential tropical cyclone number nine. Now, if you missed our earlier broadcast at 11 a.m., why is this designated a potential tropical cyclone? It's because it doesn't yet have the organization to be classified a tropical depression or a tropical storm and thus doesn't yet have a name. That said, latest trends in satellite imagery suggest that it's starting to organize and the current forecast has it becoming a tropical storm overnight tonight as it moves off to the northwest over the northwestern Caribbean Sea. For all practical purposes, its designation right now doesn't matter. And I'm gonna help explain that to you. If you look at our current forecast uh, moving into the eastern Gulf of Mexico, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Moving in over the eastern Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of days and developing possibly quite rapidly. And you can see now the, the new updated hurricane forecast has it as a category three, a category three on the Saffir Simpson scale, that is a major hurricane from a wind perspective. Um, as it approaches uh, the Florida Big Bend uh, Thursday afternoon. So category three on the Saffir Simpson scale. Uh, so all indications are a significant hurricane impacting the Florida Big Bend. But, and this is a big but, the hazards are gonna be well removed from the center and well removed from the cone. So I don't want you to look at the cone and say, I'm out of the cone or I'm on the edge of the cone because this wind field, the wind field with this system is going to be really large, larger than you're used to seeing with a traditional hurricane. And what that means is it's gonna push a big swath of of uh, storm surge across the western portions of the Florida Peninsula. This area is really, really vulnerable to storm surge. It's not gonna take a lot of wind and even tropical storm force winds along the Florida west coast produce significant and life-threatening storm surge. It's also gonna have a large swath of wind that are gonna cut across a good chunk of the Florida Peninsula. So we're gonna look at uh, potential for power outages uh, late Wednesday and Thursday as it moves across. So now let's talk a little bit about the timing. I'll cut some of these uh, uh, graphics off. You can see the timing. This is a graphic that shows you basically when conditions would start moving into an area or more importantly, when you should have your preparedness done, meaning you should be completed with your preparedness activities. So here over the Florida Keys, 8 p.m. Wednesday, which is why the Florida Keys are now under a tropical storm watch. The watches are issued 48 hours prior to the onset of conditions. So this is why the Florida Keys are now under a tropical storm watch because tropical storm force winds would move into your area by 8 p.m. on Wednesday. Then continuing to work their way up the coast late Wednesday evening and overnight. Um, so here on the Fl uh, Florida West Coast, so Tampa, Fort Myers area, you need to have your preparedness done by sunset Wednesday. You have your preparedness done sunset Wednesday and then up into the Florida Big Bend Nature Coast uh, early Thursday morning. So probably the same for you, have your preparedness done by sunset Wednesday night. So basically we've got all day tomorrow to get prepared and you wanna be taking this seriously because all indications are of a major hurricane potentially approaching the Florida Peninsula uh, late Wednesday and Thursday. Before I go, I wanna leave you with um, excessive rainfall threat. This is a new graphic that we've started using over the last uh, several years to highlight the potential for excessive rain and flooding in basically anywhere in this red area. Uh, so Tallahassee, you're right in the middle of that. There's a high potential for excessive rain and flooding. So this is gonna be a multi-hazard event. Um, so just stay informed. Uh, if you're anywhere watching us from the Florida area, you need to be uh, checking the weather several times a day because the forecast can and will shift a little bit. So check on the weather several times a day. Um, we will come back with the next video broadcast and video update at 11.30 a.m. tomorrow as well as 5.30 p.m. tomorrow but you can always get the most up-to-date and latest information at hurricanes.gov.